Welcome to Mexico City, my absolute favorite city in the entire world. Let's eat. Good street tacos can be found everywhere in Mexico City, but this place I found last time and I saved this place because there were so many people crowded around it. We've managed to come back during the day and there is still so many people. There's only one dude working it. The pastor looks amazing and it's five tacos for 45 pesos, which is like the best deal that you can get in the freaking city. It's very unassuming, just a little cart outside of a convenience store, but this place is a must hit. All right, Rica's Tacos Hucalita, I think is how you say that. He is a one-man band back there. This place is jamming. And it took a little while for waiting, but just from the smell of it and the vibe, this is definitely like a really cool local spot. Uh, so we decided just for lunch today to do five pastor tacos, and this is the one for sure. There's only a couple salsas, and he's slicing the pineapple like with such a quickness. He's such a beast on that tropo. He's got this huge vat of boiling meats. So there's other types of protein, but we were just craving pastor today. These look so good, I'm so pumped. They're so hot. Oh my god. Instantly, this also so spicy. <laughs> Whoa. Normally the red ones aren't so spicy, but that is fuego. We're gonna put both of them on there. I think it's the red one that's hot. Woo! Wow, that's hot. The pastor is extra crunchy. The cilantro is cut so small, so there's so much on every single bite. Oh, this is amazing. Great. Great, great pastor tacos. And so cheap. Mmm. Mmm. I love this. Your girl is happy. <laughs> Little taquitos. They're actually not that small for being 45 pesos or five. I've had smaller, surprisingly, right? Mm hmm And they're so good. The fresh pineapple is a game changer. The trumpo is crispy, just like Alyssa said. These are fantastic. This is a must hit place. Mm. That one has a huge chunk of pineapple. That one has less red salsa on it. It's the red salsa that's like, kill you spicy. I've not been surprised by street tacos like this in a long time. This place is absolutely amazing and totally worth five tacos for 40 pesos. It's 2023 people. And this guy's dropping five tacos for a buck 50, insane. I could have ordered more, for sure. Well, there's no line now. Man, these are great. The tortillas are so good. It's so juicy. I love this. We're gonna get more. We have to go back and finish our laundry and then we'll come back for another plate. <laughs> Mexico City truly is the street food capital of Mexico. You cannot walk five feet without bumping into an amazing taco stall. Just look for one that smells really great and has a line and you're bound to find delicious tacos. Okay. Gracias, muy rico. Hasta pronto. So we are right outside of the Insurgentes Metro Station, which is one of the busiest metro stations in Mexico City. And we have no idea what street we've turned on, but there is just miles of street vendors here. And we saw a guy selling birria that looks fantastic, so we're gonna give it a go. Alyssa and I know a little bit of Spanish, but it is still really difficult for us to get food, mainly because we get so nervous ordering. We don't wanna slow anyone down or ruin anyone's day. I know uno, dos, tres, and tacos. And then I just point and hope for the best. Uh, por favor, uno de taco de birria y uno queso de birria uh, y uno consume. This place is so cool and the closer you get to that grill the temperature rises like astronomically. They're so fast and there's so much cheese and birria consomme and sauce and meat juice just everywhere. It is such a cool scene. So typically in almost all of Mexico, not just Mexico City, when you go to a taco stand like this, they take your order and you don't pay right away just in case you want to get more. So like we only had two tacos right now, so if you want to order two more, you just go to the same lady that took your order and then at the end you'll pay. Say you don't want a Coke when you first start, but then you're like, oh man, this is spicy, I need a Coca-Cola, you can just add on to it. It's kind of like starting a bar tab. And then when you're done, you just hand her your plate and pay. It is the most efficient fast food that you can eat. I believe most of the stands are only cash still in Mexico City, so you will need some pesos. We also decided to get a Jamaica, which was 25 pesos. So we're like on the sidewalk here, but we grabbed a chair to put all of our soup and drinks on. And I got my tacos, so I'm gonna go load them up. 
Birria tacos are taking the world by storm right now and for good reason. They are dipping tacos and you order the consomme, which is the broth on the side. Make sure that if you get these style of tacos, you get the broth and you dip it in there for the complete experience. I told you there was cheese in there. This is fire. This is so good. The salt is so spicy. It's double tortilla and they're dipped in like that consomme and it's so flavorful. It's beef. The toppings are amazing. The cheese is insane. And then there's like some beans in there too. It's amazing. And the salsa is so good. The salsa is probably my favorite part, but the tortillas are so, so good. Mm. Good stop. Oh my God, that, the broth is piping hot too. I'm going. Mm, the cheese. Whoa, this is one of the best things I've had so far in Mexico City. I do not want this to end. This is gonna be the saddest last bite ever. So delicious. We have been here plenty of times and this might be one of my favorite taco stands in all of Mexico City. And we just stumbled upon it. Amazing. We took the wrong road. Ended up here in Birria heaven. We flew all the way from Tijuana to go to a Tijuana style <laughs> food cart. It was 130 pesos and we tipped 20 pesos, 150 pesos for four tacos, two consommes. Absolutely fantastic, must hit spot. Oh, and we got a Jamaica. <laughs> So we're now walking down La Reforma, which is like the main street in Mexico City, and this gets closed down on Sundays, and they let like only bicycles and rollerblades and stuff go by, but we're walking to the Angel of Independence. Right behind me is Tacos Orinoco, and this is one of our all-time favorite restaurants. It is a must-hit spot when you come to Mexico City. They are famous for their El Pastor Trombo Tacos. This place has three different locations, and it is jamming on a Friday night. The line is super long, so that is new. We're not used to that. Maybe word is getting out of how awesome these tacos really are. The Trombo is like six feet tall, and it's probably hundreds of pounds. The menu is pretty simple. It's basically tacos or quesadillas, and your three choices of meat are pastor, which is pork, beef, or chicharron. So we are getting three tacos, two pastor, one chicharron, and the special gringa, kind of a pastor quesadilla. And Brandon always gets a side of potatoes because he loves the potatoes here so much. We love the especials, but they're so big. So we usually get one of those to share. Luckily, we have a friend here today who's getting the capachano, which is one of our favorites, which is the beef and pork mix. So we'll get to share that with her. They have a ton of salsas to choose from. The salsas are so delicious. There is not a very spicy salsa, but they still are very good tasting. I can never decide which salsa I like the best, so I always use all of them. This is the gringa. It's like a large quesadilla on flour tortilla stuffed with avocado, uh, pastor, onions, cilantro, and cheese. They also have piña y cebollas to jam in there, but this is huge. And every plate comes with potatoes, but Brandon always likes to order extra potatoes. One of the things you cannot miss are these smashed potatoes, and they cook them onto the oil from the drippings of the tacos, but they are absolutely delicious, and they're only like 40 pesos for 10. Heaven. We always end up ordering too much when we come here, and I think we've managed to order too much again. As well with the gringo, we got three tacos, two pastor, and one chicharron. It's extra, extra crunchy chicharrones, but there is some fatty pieces in it, so that gives it a little bit of chew. I'm going in for a bite of this chicharron taco. The chicharrones are different than the super puffy ones you get in the grocery store. They are super meaty. It's like a pork belly, and they are unctuous, fatty, crispy, and they melt away in your mouth. This one is also topped quite a bit different than the other items. There's like a pickled red onion and Fresno chili slaw, which will complement that salty, fatty chicharron so, so well. Cheers. The tacos are pretty small, so I would say three is good for one person, but if you're gonna order one of the especials, like the gringo or the campechana, I would definitely say to limit your tacos. If you've never had pastor before, it's on this trompo and it just spins around getting nice and crispy on the edges. The trompo is not completely crispy and this place, they will slice it off to order and then crisp it up on the flat top for you using all those oils so that it's nice and cooked through. And it's seasoned with achiote, which is like a spicy chili powder. And it is just one of the best flavors that you can have. It's like a sweet, sour, spicy, tangy, amazing type of taco.
That was amazing, as it always is. I'm so glad that we went there. 10 out of 10, 100% worth the wait. I'm not sure if every location has as long of a line as the Zona Rosa one did, but it is definitely worth getting in the queue. This place has amazing smoked marlin tacos, but what they're famous for is this chili relleno stuffed with smoked marlin, deep fried inside a taco. There are multiple locations of this restaurant, El Pescadito, around Mexico City. They're all gonna be this yellow color, so you'll know one when you see one, and they're all amazing. And they have this amazing salsa bar that has so many different kinds of salsa and toppings that you can put on it. We've made the mistake of ordering too much here every single time we've come, so today we're only getting two tacos, but let me tell you, all of the tacos are amazing. We're gonna get the taco de chili relleno, which is the fried chili stuffed with cheese and smoked marlin, and then a taco de camarón, which is a fried shrimp taco. The chili relleno smoked marlin is dense and can be so deceiving. It is filling. So we got the two tacos that we wanted, and the chili relleno is stuffed with that smoked marlin, and then they chop it up, put it on the taco, and then add more smoked marlin, and the marlin that they're adding comes with onions as well. And then we got this deep fried shrimp one, and they just give it to you tortilla and meat, and then you get to go to the salsa bar and doctor it up however you want it, which obviously we're gonna put the spiciest salsa we can find. And I just love that you can add whatever toppings you want. Like, it's like customize your own taco. This is like fair food in a taco. It is absolutely stuffed. This is one of the biggest tacos you can get in the city, I think, and they are absolutely fantastic. We went crazy at the salsa bar and added a little bit of everything. El Pescadito. This is easily one of my favorite tacos in the city. Those chilies are really, really spicy, and they're full of cheese. The cheese goes really well with that smoked marlin. They have amazing pico de gallo. The salsa bar is fire, and this taco is huge. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the plate because it got all over Brandon, so look <laughs> how big this bite's gonna be. Mm. I forgot how good this place was. Oh god. That smoked marlin is so good. And the chili relleno. Oh man. The green sauce is amazing. Oh yeah, man. This might be my favorite taco in the city. You went back to the salsa bar. I added more. <laughs> I got cabbage and I needed a lime for the shrimp one. Oh, I forgot a lime! Okay, don't notice all the marlin that fell out of the taco. We're gonna eat that with the fork later. I'm gonna try the shrimp one now. Fried shrimp taco. <laughs> Wait, there's a whole shrimp. So the shrimp came out of the batter, but I think it only did that because we had to film the taco, so it like sat for a minute. Usually it stays in the batter pretty well, but the shrimp is so flavorful. These are some of the most unique tacos that you can find. Everything here is amazing, but make sure you get the chili relleno marlin taco. <laughs> so we stopped by this place called Tacos La Flor de Turin, I think is how you say it. It's cool, you walk up and there's a gentleman right there greeting all the customers. He'll hook you up with a paper menu and a little notepad. You write your own down for us. You write your own order down, you hand it back to the guy. We were lucky enough that there were seats available, otherwise we would have been eating standing up. This one is the bistec taco, which is like one of their most go-tos, and I souped it up with all the salsa. Hopefully this is really spicy. I love how in Mexico City everywhere has like self-serve salsa. These are tacos el alambre, which means that it's mixed with onions, peppers, and we added cheese as well. And for 30 pesos, these are huge. I definitely put too much hot sauce on this, but the hot sauce is so good. Next, we got the Suadero tacos, which is my second favorite type of taco in Mexico, second only to the pastor tacos. This one is a costilla, which is a rib, and it's served in like a marinated sauce, like a ranchero sauce. This one looks amazing. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, whatever sauce they put on that is so good. Oh my God. I'm taking another one. So, so far we have had two bistec, two alambres, and one suadero taco. Alright, uh, you had a bite of all of them. Which one's your favorite? Mm. I like the regular bistec. The meat was tender. That one was my favorite. I like the one with the cheese. Alambre con queso. So we got six tacos total. The total was 190 pesos and we added 50 
pesos for tips. 250 pesos total for six humongous yeah. tacos. It easily fed all three of us. They were absolutely delicious, unique types of tacos. Typically we go for pastor style tacos, but I'm glad that we tried something different because this place is fantastic and should totally be added to your and the list. The hot sauce was so spicy, so good. So good, way to start the trip for sure. Now, more tacos? Let's eat. Alcalipa, which has multiple locations in Mexico City. We are here only for beers, but they brought out this salsa and it looks amazing, so we might have to get some tacos. So El Califa in Roma Norte is a really great spot if you're nervous about your Spanish or being able to pay with your card or anything. It is a great beginner Mexico City taco shop. The tacos are very flavorful. They are a little small, but the prices are great. There is a humongous trompo in the middle of the restaurant that this dude is just constantly spinning around, slicing meat off. So obviously we ended up getting tacos. They're so cute, they're so tiny. These are 29 pesos each, 26 pesos each. And we asked for them con piña. We only got one each because we're trying to eat as much as we possibly can. So, cheers! They don't have a salsa bar, but they brought all of these salsa right to our table. I have no idea how spicy they are. So I'm gonna do with my usual routine and I'm gonna add every single one to my taco. <laughs> Should I one bite this? No. These are like the <laughs> smallest tacos we've got on the trip. No, look how much meat that is. It looks so big on camera. <laughs> I think I can one bite it. Okay, go ahead. It. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't one bite it. <laughs> okay, so that's a no. <laughs> I am not gonna one bite it. I think I'm gonna double bite it. But look how cute they are. I love them. And the meat looks so thin. Mm. One of the less messy tacos we've had today. But so good. That trumpo is delicious. This trumpo is like one of the crispiest ones that I've seen in a while. Sometimes they have to take it off the trumpo and grill it. And this one is just like crispy and he takes it right, straight from the trumpo right to your taco. From the trumpo to your taco to your mouth. <laughs> It should come as no surprise that Mexico City has some of the best tacos on the planet. However, I don't know if you knew how beautiful it is. This place has endless sights. It is really one of our favorite destinations. We are right outside of Chinatown, checking out a spot called Tacos La Canasta Las Especiales. So Canasta Tacos loosely translates to basket tacos. They are steamed tacos. They are traditionally sold in baskets on bikes all over the city. If you are hungry, they will find you. They have hot oil poured all over them and they steam into these nice, soggy, steamy tacos. Typically, they come with frijol, papa, y chicharron. The chicharron is the most popular, but they are all delicious. They're soft, greasy, and a fantastic way to start your day for only eight pesos a piece. We love canasta tacos. I know soggy, drenched in oil doesn't sound appetizing, but don't knock it till you try it. They are the best. We are starting at this restaurant because it is a bit more user-friendly for those of you who want to see a menu, point, and use minimal Spanish. But once you get used to the options and how to order, we highly suggest picking up some canasta tacos from a bike vendor. Canasta tacos have a very specific salsa that they're served with also. It's always green and it's always super spicy. It has big chunks of onion and avocado and it's so delicious. The salsa is a must, don't skip on the salsa. This place had a unique thing. They had a red and a green, so two different types of chicharron, which is pork skin and it's fried and they're just steamed. So everything is so soft. I cannot wait to try. This one is the chicharron roja in adobo sauce. Look. They're super juicy tacos. I'm going for a bite. They are so delicious. The chicharron is almost like a meat sauce. The closest thing I can say, they're like jack-in-the-box tacos, kind of, like with mystery meat inside, and this delicious corn tortilla. It's pretty sturdy, considering that they poured oil all over it. But this is probably one of the cheapest and best ways you can start a day in Mexico City. Mm. This plate is a mess. 
My favorite is the chicharron, but it's not like chicharron like you would think, like crunchy, like dipping chicharrons. It's like stewed. The frijoles one is good too because they're seasoned so great, but the salsa is just amazing. There's big chunks of avocado, which like is so good. For 32 pesos, you cannot beat this breakfast. Last bite. <laughs> that was really fantastic. <laughs> it wasn't off the street in the basket like normal, but they have these huge canteens that they're using. But man, that is an awesome way to start the day. It is just absolutely crazy how vegetated Mexico City is in a hole. Like there's times where you can't even see the sky. And even though it's a bustling city, you can't really hear that much traffic or anything. Like there's getaway streets that you can just go and relax and take in the views. Next is a place we have been dying to try ever since we stumbled upon their Instagram. Taqueria Gabriel. Let's eat some more tacos. The salsas are so different and so cool. There's a sesame matcha, there's a bean dip, there's a salsa verde that's not very spicy, and then there's like a traditional orange that you would kind of get on a tacos de pollo. All of them are great. It's cool that there's such different varieties. This place is kind of famous for their tostaditos arabadas, which are like these flaming hot tortilla chips, and they are coated all over them, and they are so crazily spicy and crunchy. These are amazing. They also sell bags of this to go, there's so much like seasoning on them. Hmm. Oh, they're like sour. They're not spicy, they're just so tangy. Ooh. Great though. We should get some to go. Totally. Three tacos, una adobada, una hongo, y una asada. Tortilla de maíz or maíz. Maíz? Yeah. Sí. All right, so the first taco I'm trying is gonna be the hongos, which is mushroom. Fun fact, I had COVID in 2020 and my taste buds changed a lot from that. And I used to hate mushrooms and now I freaking love them. So I'm really excited to try this one. Just comes with sauteed mushrooms and avocado on it. Mushrooms are such a great substitute in tacos because it really does like give you the meat vibe and like the texture of it. Taco de hongo. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Earthy. The seasoning is so good on it. And the avocado complements it so well. And the tortillas are great. So good. I want to eat another bite, but I'm going to save that for you. Mm. The mushroom taco is phenomenal. If you are a veg, I would totally recommend that. It is amazing. It almost tastes like a suadero. There's an earthy note to it. It is really fantastic. It's a great vessel for hot sauce. All right, up next is the taco de asada from the Trumpo, which is very hard to find. You usually see the Trumpo as a pastor taco. This has like a spread of beans on the bottom of it. There's a pico, cilantro and onion, of course, and then a little bit of guac on top. And the carne asada looks a little bit different than you would expect to see like in San Diego, but it's because it's from the Trumpo. So it has like a charred outside, kind of like a jerky-ish texture to it. I had a piece of it already and it's so good. It's a little bit tougher, but it's got like firm jerky and the flavor is so good. Mmm. Ooh, it's a rosa. <laughs> Taco de adobada. Mmm. Oh, it's like the meat is like really seasoned. It's got like a tangy flavor to it. So that sweetness from the pineapple really, really complements it well. Pastor is definitely my favorite type of meat to put in a taco. This one is so tangy. The flavor of the meat is just different than any pastor we've had yet this trip. Yo, that place was lit. Which was your favorite taco? 
The mushroom. I was going to say the same thing. The regular atabata was really good, citrusy, and a unique flavor for sure. But that mushroom taco left an impression in my mind. We picked up the only types of souvenirs we ever get are edible ones. This place was fantastic. We didn't just eat tacos here. If you want to see what else we grubbed down at Taqueria Gabriel, be sure to check out next week's video. Give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We are right outside of Biblioteco Mexico, and it's this beautiful library, and there's this awesome park. I think Tulsa is the name. However, it is just lined with street vendors as far as you can see. There's plenty to eat here, and it's definitely worth coming just to check out the library. Can't be stopped. What'd you get? Oh, so the Eskimo guy was asleep, so I decided to just get more tacos. I found a spot that puts french fries on them. I was just walking by and I saw a huge line of people ordering tacos and they had french fries piled on top super high. I paid 64 pesos for two tacos. I got one campichana, which is bistec and longanisa, which is like a chorizo type sausage, and I also got a this steak one. Sorry, I forgot what I ordered. I'm so excited to eat it. I asked for extra spicy salsa. That place was so cool. The people were very nice. And there's just a vat of bubbling oil. And this guy is dumping fresh cut french fries into each order. And they're cooking each meat to order. So it's not just sitting there. What a fantastic spot. All right, they said this is more spicy, but this one looked more spicy. It's like a Roja sauce. This. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like I just ordered the french fries, but I swear there's tacos underneath. In your in and out shirt too, this is perfect. <laughs> Dude, crazy. And I swear there's a taco underneath that with some meat. I got one capichana, which was longanisa and steak, and then I got one bistec. This reminds me of home right here. Comment below if you want us to do a best California burritos in San Diego video. The french fries remind me of the tin of little crisp french fries. Yeah. They're like shavings. They're so crispy. They're like not warm, but they're more like potato chip sort of rather than french fry. So far, this is great. <laughs> I think that we're just gonna kind of make our way through as many of these potatoes until we can actually visibly see a taco. So there's no shade, so we've gotta sit lower. So he's making himself a table. Are you gonna try and pick it up? I'm gonna take a taco off and put it on my table. Oh good, a lot of the fries came with it. Oh, there's like a paper too. Here, I'll take that one. <laughs> of course you will, that one has more fries. Hey, let me just get you a piece of that steak. Oh, it's so tender. He is cooking it in like a scottle with some oil. It's like a juicy carne. And it's very lightly seasoned. So those french fries will do most of the work. This campechano one looks really good too. Longanisa is kind of like a chorizo. So I'm excited to give that one a try. That might be the play. Let's salsa it up. Oh yeah, it looks like a Mexican flag, dude. <laughs> Here we are, fully loaded. <laughs> oh my God, it's a mess. I'm glad that I brought my table with me. Uh, yeah, let's go in. Look how big is. Don Rico. <laughs> this is insane. As many fries as there are on there, it doesn't overpower the meat. You definitely get the juiciness and tenderness of that steak. The salsas are amazing. Definitely do both. If you eat a taco in Mexico, make sure to put something on it. You can't just eat it meat bun only or meat and tortilla only. You have to add something to it. The Nepalis are good, but they're very briny. So they kind of take away from the savory flavor. I would actually prefer without the onions and the Nepalis. Did you add the onions and nopales, or did it come with it? Mm -hmm. You added it? Well, it said it was free. Oh. <laughs> so I had to. Obviously. Hmm. So good. My table is working out very well. Their salsas are some of the best that we've had this trip. Uh, typically, avocado guaca salsas like that aren't all that spicy, but there's definitely some serrano or something in there because it's lit. We can tell it's all over your face. <laughs> is it? So this one is the campechana. It's kind of a mixture of two meats. Typically it is a beef and a pork, but no matter where you are, it's always different. So I always like to ask KS la campechana and they'll tell you what it comes with. Well, I'm glad that I got both. I preferred the bistec taco a little bit more. This experience right outside of the library in this beautiful park is a life experience I will never forget.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're hungry now, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. We are always going amazing places and eating delicious food. We'll see you on the next one. How many types of tacos can you name off the top of your head? Pastor, suadero, carne asada, chorizo, carnitas, birria, canasta, trompo, uh, 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 fish, lobster, shrimp. <laughs> now you're just naming animals that you can put on a tortilla. Right behind me is Tacos Oronico. Orinoco? The total was 190 pesos and we added 50 pesos for tips, so 250, two, what? We would totally recommend it. There's a lot of white people. It's a little bit tougher, but it's got that like, which jerky? What's that texture? Firm. Yeah. This place is kind of famous for their tostaditos arabita. <laughs> what are they called? Tostaditos arabadas. I'm gonna try this one without salsa, just to... <laughs> Maybe I'm not. <laughs> but this one is so tangy. You can hold oh, anything. Cheat your own for the win? Yeah. So yeah. Good. Better than the beans? It's the salsa, bro. You know what they taste like? They taste like day old Jack in the Box tacos. And it's in the greatest way. <laughs> like anyone who's had a Jack in the Box taco and got too drunk and left it out the night before and then ate it in the morning. That's what it is. It's amazing. <laughs> that sounds gross, but You're if you really know what I'm talking it. about, then it's amazing. The salsa is a complete game changer. The salsa though. is so good. They're so messy. I love it. Oh, you ate it. He ate the last bite. I was trying to film him. Muy rico. Mm. 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 Anytime we're eating tacos, if I ask Brandon what his favorite taco is, it's the current taco that we're eating. Watch. What's your favorite kind of taco? Pastor tacos! <laughs> this might be my favorite taco in the city. And this might be one of my favorite taco stands in all of Mexico City.